Hi, my name is Robert Hansen, and I will be doing another reading of my writing. Everyone knows you go poopies out on the street. A conversation between two idiots and an explanation of my experiences with complex dissociative disorder. One idiot says to another idiot, I thought you said you knew where you go poopies. No, I thought you go poopies in your pants. Wasn't there a great shitbag split over this issue? Says the other idiot. That was made up, I thought. No, the gutter dog faction won. That was what, that was what the great split was about. I thought it was the cat faction. Learning cat is hard work. I keep on forgetting where the exam is. I've fell that thing about 5,000 times, and I keep on forgetting where it is. Why do you want to learn cat anyway? There are like 12 different meows. His cat is smarter than us anyway. With gutter dog, you can just make stuff up. End of conversation. What is this? What is this dialogue? What is the great shitbag split? What does it mean to learn gutter dog or to learn cat? Who in their right mind would think that you go poopies out in the street? This is a loop of speech with which I attack my garbage psychology. I will explain. First, I have complex dissociative disorder. I have hundreds to thousands of personalities. I also have garbage psychology who are hateful and rotten. They are child personalities with God complexes. So what is this? This is a conversation between idiots. This is a real conversation between one garbage personality and another garbage personality. They actually think you go poopies out in the street. Some garbage personalities think you go poopies in your pants. Thank God this has never happened. They can take over my body, but not to that extent. So why am I making a video on this topic? To embarrass them. My garbage psychology's power comes from their ability to remain hidden, thus the reason for this and other videos. Again, they actually think this. I use this stupidity against them. They love to talk, and they never shut up. They used to talk all the time, but now it has gotten tougher for them. They can and do talk at any moment during the day. This is what it looks like when an idiot speaks with the usual nonsense. My best players are afraid of you. And then I toss out my bait. And because they love talking so much, they end up saying, My best players are afraid of you. Then bait. Because everyone knows you go poopies out in the street. What happens after that? They get teased mercilessly by other garbage personalities. So afterwards, they don't want to speak again. This tactic can work on anything they might say. Garbage is readying himself to speak and says, You shouldn't have done that. Now I'm going to have to hold that against you. Now what does this dialogue look like with the bait? Garbage is readying himself to speak and says, You shouldn't have done that. Now I'm going to have to hold that against you. With bait. Because everyone knows that you go poopies out on the street. Afterwards, that individual gets teased mercilessly and again never wants to speak due to the embarrassment. The problem I run into is that there are just so many of them, such as there are hundreds to thousands of them. This closed loop of speech shuts them down because there is nothing to repeat after this. I won't allow it, but more on that later. So going back to the starting dialogue, they believe all that stuff, due to me, the main personality, going poopies in your pants, me, the great shitbag split, me, gutter dog, me, cat, me. I will now introduce the concept behind these terms. Why do they think you go poopies in your pants? By the way, the phrase, going poopies, is my handiwork. I have them repeat it like that because it is embarrassing. They think that they go poopies in their pants from prior fake scenarios I have done with them. 
So what is the great shitbag split? It is a war I manufactured to make my garbage psychology look ridiculous. In explaining the great shitbag split, I will also explain the context of gutter dog and cat. Learning gutter dog and cat are based on fake scenarios also. I use the same tactic with that just as I used with the phrase, everyone knows you go poopies out in the street. For starters, I have a few names I have given my garbage psychology. I also call them shit bags or my shit bag psychology. A shit bag is someone who lies all the time. That is the reason for the name. The great shit bag split originates from a fake scenario which I manufactured. First, I started off with them learning cat. Using the same tactic, they would start up their usual nonsense. You know, I'm going to have to hold that against you because you're making too much progress. Now with the bait. You know, now I'm going to have to hold that against you because you're making too much progress. Because learning cat is, is too hard. I keep on failing the exam. There are like 12 different meows. Your cat is smarter than us. It doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. They just repeat it anyway. Now the usual routine after they've made such a statement. They get teased mercilessly by other garbages. Now the same routine with gutter dog. You know, I'm going to have to hold that against you. You're making too much progress. Because with gutter dog, you can just make stuff up. Learning cat is way too hard. I failed the exam like 5,000 times. Afterwards, I have now created division using the same tactics. I associated cat with going poopies in your pants and gutter dog with going poopies out on the street. The great shitbag split is over where you go poopies. Do you go poopies out in the street or in your pants? They believe this due to the, due to the fake scenarios I manufactured. Rinse and repeat process. I have done this dozens of times because I'm tired of listening to nonsense. I am tired of listening to them. They do not shut up unless you force them. And for the record, as everyone who's listening to this probably knows, you go poopies in the toilet like a civilized person. That's it. Thank you for listening. If you like what you hear and would like more content like this, please like, share, or subscribe.